Your Miami Marlins top five plays coming up right after this. My name is Kevin Barral from the Fish Stripes YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow us for more content like this and our weekly live streams, which the next one will be on Tuesday, one hour before the start of the Miami Marlins versus the Toronto Blue Jays game. You'll be seeing me and Eli Sussman along with some others in the show. Uh, tonight, Today, we will be going over your Miami Marlins top five plays, starting with the Dylan Floro save, and you will be asking, why a save? I mean... This was a moment where Sean Morimondo was on the mound. He gave up a, a, a lot of runs, and I, people were starting to get scared. Dylan Floro comes in and just finishes it off for the Miami Marlins, and here's the play. One, two. Ground ball. That's Jazz. Long, strong throw. Got him. It's a Marlins win. Now, with play number four, we have Jose Devers. Jose Devers has been on fire as of lately in the Philly series against the Marlins, obviously. He he had an RBI to give the Marlins a couple runs in there, and here is the play. Wouldn't mind an extra run, I bet. Might get it right here. Past Miller. Birdie around third. He'll score. Devers has a rivy, and it's a 4-2 Marlins lead. That's the way you get it done, young man. My goodness, 97 miles an hour up out of the strike zone. <laughs> wow, some quick hands, huh? Well, the scouting report on him, right? We talked about this before. Baseball America has him rated as the best hitter for average in the Marlins system, and that would lead you to believe good bat-to-ball skills. Yeah. Now, with the next play, even though it didn't result in a Marlins loss, it was a huge moment in the game with Garrett Cooper clutching it up to tie the game up for the Miami Marlins. Jose Devers was on second base. Garrett Cooper comes at the bat and gets an RBI single to drive in Jose Devers and give the Marlins the tying run 2 2 in the game. Here it is. Cooper on the ground yeah. through the right side. Devers rounding third, and he will score and tie the game at two. Garrett Cooper off the bench comes through for the Marlins. Might be a case of just one too many fastballs. I know that's his bread and butter pitch, but that ball didn't have much sink on it, Cliff. They were looking for something down in the zone. It almost appeared like a four-seam fastball. Here's another look at it. See this ball just kind of tracks middle-middle. Did a great job of hitting that, trying to pull that pitch by Cooper. Now with play number two, we have... Corey Dickerson in the Boston Red Sox here. So now we're going to shift from Phillies to Red Sox. Miami's in Fenway Park. Bad conditions, raining. So Jose Devers come, I mean, not Jose. Corey Dickerson comes in and just gets a throw and throws out Hunter Renfro at home base and throws it to Sandy Leon. And it was obviously, it just came out to be an out in the second game of the Red Sox against the Miami Marlins series. Here is the play. But what uh, we heard after the game was that maybe he was a little off mechanically. I'm not sure if that's the case here, but that's another hit. And here comes Renfro. Throw is in time. Red Sox immediately point right to the bench. Renfro doesn't think he was tagged at all. But at the moment, it's another outfield assist for the Marlins. And it cuts off a run. Leon. Tough to tell. Where did he get that tag? This may help us a little bit more. Did he get the right shoulder before Renfro's right hand? Well, I haven't seen anything yet, partner, to, to you know change the opinion of the home plate umpire, which called him out. Now, with the final play, uh, someone who I think we've bashed a lot, Jorge Alfaro. We go to Boston, first game, horrible conditions. It's just raining and pouring and pouring. Ho Jorge Alfaro comes in and just bombs a two-run homer. It was a great play. He got a he got the perfect hit. Didn't go over to Green Monster, but it was a good good hit. I think it, I don't think it would have gone to Green Monster. I mean, we'll, we we would have to check the, the the analytics and all that good stuff that you guys like to see from baseball. But with Jorge Alfaro, Jorge Alfaro was a kind of on a slump. He just came back from injury, so this was a good moment to lighten up him and not just him, but the offensive spark for this Miami Marlins team. Here you have the play. Doing one to Alfaro. 
is hit in the air and hit well to deep right field way back oh. and into the bullpen. A two run homer for Jorge Alfaro. It is a long way out there to right at Fenway. Two nothing Miami. Well pardon me Mr. Alfaro. About as fast as I tell you that the weather's bad. These teams don't give up home runs. You see an incredible display of power. I mean, one of the toughest right fields in the American League as far as distance and, you know, getting a ball out. Alfaro goes the opposite way for a long two-run home run to right. Well, folks, those are your Miami Marlins top five plays of the week. Once again, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel, the Fish Stripes YouTube channel. Follow us for more content like this and our daily live streams and a lot of other podcasts that you will be seeing on the Fish Stripes YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Kevin Barral, your Fish Stripes intern, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.